Hey, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Signing with Omar. Today, we're gonna go over the alphabet. So let me pause you here. If you've not watched my prior video on parameters, please pause this video, go back to the video on parameters, watch that, then come back to this video. Are you ready? Let's start with the letter A. Simply make a fist and notice how the thumb is right there on the side and it comes and rests across the index finger. Let's go to B. Notice how the other four fingers are together, point towards the sky, but the thumb rests right gently across the palm of the hand. C, and this is a view from the front. D, notice how these three fingers come together, but the middle finger touches the tip of the thumb. E, now you will see this done a few ways. You might see this, but to me this is a little bit uncomfortable. So if I bring these four fingers, rest right up on a, against the side of the thumb, to me is a lot more comfortable. So this is my E. F, notice how these three fingers are pointing straight up, but they're a little spread apart, and the thumb and the index finger come together. That's F. G, now I'm gonna turn this towards the side here so you can see it. Notice how the thumb and the index finger are parallel with one another. One is right in the back of the other. And it's important that you get this correct because there's another letter that's almost identical. The only difference is the palm orientation. So this is your G. H. I. Notice how these fingers are together. The thumb comes right across these three fingers, but the pinky points straight up. Now for the letter J. It's the same hand shape. The only difference is this traces the letter J. So this is J. K. This is a little bit more difficult, so I'm gonna walk you step by step with this letter. Take the index finger, point it straight up to the sky, take the middle finger, and I'm careful, point that in a 45 degree angle, then take the thumb, gently push it, and rest it right against the lower portion of the middle finger. This is it from the side. This is it frontwards. Point straight up to the sky, 45 degree angle, the thumb rests up against the very bottom portion of the middle finger. That's a K. I want you to get this properly because there's another letter that's identical. The only difference is palm orientation. That letter would be P. Notice how everything is the same but the palm now faces downward. So this would go from a K to a P. This is a K. L, just what you think it would look like. M, now I want you to pay attention and notice how the tip of the thumb rests in between the little finger and the ring finger. It's important that you get this correct because there are other letters that look almost identical. The only difference is the position of where the thumb is. This is an M. Let's go to N. Notice now how the tip of the thumb is between the middle finger and the ring finger. O, P. Let's look at the P from the side. Remember the K? You went from a K to a P. This is a P. Q, all you do is drop it down. Gently, that's a Q. R, notice now the palm is facing the viewer, but the middle finger and the index finger just cross. That's an R. S, almost like an A, however, the thumb comes across the other fingers and rests up against it gently. There's your S. T, ah, notice how the thumb now is between the index finger and the middle finger. Remember M, how it rests between the little finger and the ring finger. The N rests between the middle finger and the ring finger. Now the T rests between the index finger and the middle finger. It's important that I'm able to see the tips of the thumb. That's a T. U, V, W, X, I'm gonna go over this a little bit. Basically, 
The index finger forms a hook as if it was going to hang on something. There's your X. X. Y, simply allow these three fingers to rest down and keep the thumb and the pinky spread apart. There's your Y. And the Z, simply trace the letter Z. Some people will slightly bend this a little bit and trace it. Here's a little extra free sign. This is a, for the sign for pizza, pizza. So you're just tracing the letter Z. Now I'm gonna go over these very quickly. So try to follow me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now keep practicing and practicing until it becomes second nature to you. And when you have gotten it and you've memorized it and it's easy, if I can just call out a number and you're able to do it, now it's time for you to move on to the next video. Thank you for watching this video on my YouTube channel, Signing with Omar. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe. Stay tuned for my next video and learn more about American Sign Language.